Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this week's reading will be covering November 26th to December 2nd. I will be using the Spirit Messages uh, Oracle deck by John Holland. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm really looking forward to it again. It's a beautiful deck. If you'd like to see the review on this deck, you could click on my playlist here on my YouTube channel and it will give you a review on these cards. Uh, let's start the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. For the beginning of the week, I'm going to take a card from the top. We have forgiveness. I'm going to take a card from the center for the middle of the week. We have take a moment. And for the end of the week, I'll take the bottom card, which is a child's love. Okay, so we start the week with forgiveness, and we have these this beautiful card, um, these two people embracing each other, and you could see the gentle energy on their faces. And the card re reads, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human conditions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and has the capacity to heal and transform. So, so important. When you forgive people, you're doing it for yourself. Okay, It's allowing you to release them for them to no longer have power and control over you. And when you forgive them, it does not mean that what they did was right. But the only way you're going to move on this path spiritually is going to have to have forgiveness in your heart for those who have done you wrong. And believe me, I have a huge list of people that have done me wrong, friends, family members, coworkers, employers. But we have to move on from it. When you're harboring resentment like that, it also starts to manifest in your body as terminal illnesses sometimes. It weakens your immune system. It lowers your resistance. It's a very negative emotion feeling anger and resentment. It lowers your vibration. So think of who you need to forgive this week. And again, does it mean they, you know, what they did was acceptable or okay? It doesn't mean you have to allow them back in your life again. You just release it so you could move forward. And then the next card is take a moment. Beautiful woman with these butterflies in her hair. Gorgeous card. And it says, stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Believe this important decision is made before this important decision is made. Take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So very important that we do not make decisions when we're angry or emotional. Sometimes we need to give it some time. Uh, so they say sleep on it. Give yourself a day or two to calm down because when you're in this heated state of emotion or anger about someone or something, you're not going to think logically. Your emotions are going to overrule your mind. And if you would just sit quietly, meditate on it. I mean, I know sometimes people want to react, you know, out, out of passion, out of anger. And it's just so easy for that to happen unless you control it. And it takes practice. It takes practice when someone triggers you and you feel the need to lash back. Step back a moment. Step back a moment and pause. Believe me, by doing this, it has saved me a lot of complications because we say things sometimes in a fit of anger that we really don't mean, and we can't take those words back. Once they're said, they're said. So in the middle of the week, something may happen where you might need to make a decision about something, and you're going to need to think about it logically and not allow your emotions to overrule your decision. And then at the end of the week, we have a child's love. How beautiful. We have this adult and this child. And the card reads, the love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our lifetime on earth. Children start out as part of us. And from their first cries, they establish themselves as the bigger, 
bigger part of our hearts. Yes, so important. And this doesn't necessarily have to be your own biological child. This could be just being happy, being around children, okay? Um, you, you make a connection with them. My mom was a professional nanny, and she really connected well with kids. That was the perfect job for her. And she's still close to a lot of them that have grown up, the ones entering college, the, the last one that she had taken care of before she retired for many, many years. He's now entering college, and he still sends her pictures. He still invites her over, you know, for birthday parties and things like that. And such a close connection that we have with children cherish it. Children grow up so fast. Um, what I get from spirit when I look at this is, you know, a lot of times parents are rushing around, busy, doing everything they could possibly do to work, take care of the house, take care of the children. Spend some quality time this weekend with either your child or, you know, children that you know, maybe a niece, a nephew, maybe someone that lives close to you. Um, children can teach us so much uh, about just being in the moment, just being in the moment. Um, they're not concerned with the, the bills and things that we have. They're just living right here in the now, and we could pick up on a lot of lessons from them. So some of you out there may need to spend some quiet time with your children this weekend. Really enjoy their company. Watch the way they are, the way they look at life. They're so enthusiastic. We could learn so much from them. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.